Hey YouTube, welcome back to WJ's. Today's video I have some things to do uh, with my truck. And I also wanted to share some products with you guys when it comes to some of the products that I use in my truck. These products aren't a must, but I, I recommend them. Uh, one of the products that I use, uh, probably every other fill up, even though it's everyday treatment, but uh, every other fill up I use, I use this product right here. Uh, this is a fuel additive. If you didn't know about diesel fuel, one of the things with diesel engines is the fuel is actually used as a lubricant. Um, the problem with that is fuel is a very bad lubricant when it comes to certain parts of the engine, especially in the fuel system. So in regular pickup trucks, it's one of the parts that goes bad and it's an expensive fix because the fuel is actually used as a lubricant in the diesel engines. So this every, everyday treatment helps lubricate the fuel uh, gives it an etane boost, octane for gas, etane for diesel, uh, gives it an etane boost and this does up to 400 gallons which isn't a lot <laughs> considering this thing is 17 bucks. Um, I find it at usually tractor supply for 17 bucks a bottle so that and that's why I put it in every other time um, but it's one of those things that I use just to help my engine run a little smoother you know the fuel run a little uh, be a little better for wherever you're getting it from because that's part of the problem when it comes to diesel engines is where we get fuel if you, especially when you're traversing in uh, rural areas or areas that aren't considered big cities the fuel that's there isn't getting used as fast as you know Chicago or Miami or Richmond or DC you know um, so the fuel in the tanks that the fuel sits in can leak and then water gets in them and water that's why you have a water separator on your vehicle and that's one of the things you should check every month make sure you open up your water separator and uh, release the water that's in there so that water doesn't get into the fuel system water fire fuel doesn't come uh, equate <laughs> and then you know you got a real problem with your fuel system so that EDT is one of the things that I keep in my truck so it does max performance max protect protection and treatment plan increases diesel fuel lubricity up to 26 percent to protect against scoring and wearing that's a good thing cleans injectors to maintain efficiency and operability that's very good uh, prevents rust from forming inside the fuel system so because the water in the tanks where wherever we get our fuel now if you're getting fuel at a, a new station or a station that goes through its fuel on a regular basis that's not a big issue that that really comes into play when you're uh, running low when you're you know off some highway beaten path and there's no gas station and then you find one that has diesel when you go there that could possibly be those places that have rusty tanks in the ground and the tanks get um, you know they get old over time and water seeps in and then when you Put it in your tank now you have water in your tank and that's where the fuel separ uh, water separator comes from on, on your fuel system but this helps with that um, stabilizes diesel fuel for long-term storage so if you don't plan to drive your truck for a little while it also helps stabilize the diesel fuel uh, so it doesn't damage your uh, fuel system in your engine also but yeah so i put that also in my truck too definitely on smaller pickup trucks half ton quarter ton pickup trucks it's funny smaller trucks are even more susceptible to the problems with the diesel that goes on in the fuel tanks and all that good stuff it, it's even more of a problem so i got a uh, job tomorrow so i'm gonna go ahead and check my oil i haven't been driving uh, for a couple of days so i'm gonna go ahead and check my oil go ahead and do a pre-trip inspection right now so when i leave out i gotta leave out early in the morning all i gotta do is well, I wouldn't have to do anything because I'm gonna do the inspection right now and I can just drive. So I think I gotta be there at 7.30. I got a ride going out to Charlottesville and Lynchburg. Uh, and this is from a guy that I actually met locally. He seen me at, a, uh, at the sheets down the street and he was asking me about where do I take Lowe's. So he stopped taking Lowe's for Amazon about two years ago and he brokers his own deals. He has about five trucks, I believe. I think he said he has five trucks. But I'm gonna do a load for him tomorrow and I believe this load is gonna be every Friday. So pick up from um, Ferguson, um, which is a plumbing company uh, in Henrico. Take that shipment to Charlottesville and then from there go to Lynchburg and then Lynchburg home. So not a bad deal. Decent money too, so go ahead and check my fluids while I'm at it. I could stand to put a little bit up in there. Uh, brake fluid looks good, power steering looks good. All 
All right, so after checking my oil, um, it's about time for an oil change. I think next week, um, I actually could do it this weekend. I think I'm gonna do an oil change this weekend because it's about time. Another product that I use and I will be getting this weekend when I get uh, the oil for the truck is called a uh, Hot Shot Stiction Eliminator. So uh, stiction is an issue that happens because of the diesel and the soot and all the stuff that's built up and the grime that's built up in the diesel engine that can actually build up in your oil and basically make it harder for your engine to turn because like the name suggests stiction, things get sticky, uh, almost like gunk in a gasoline engine. So uh, stiction is one of the things that I put in every time I do an oil change on either of my diesels uh, because it helps the engine run smoother and it keeps the resistance down. Uh, resistance in any mechanical part equals fuel economy. So uh, when it comes to your fuel economy going lower while you're taking some of these loads and you find yourself as the prices of diesel goes up then you find yourself putting even more in because more is coming out per distance that you're driving. Uh, stiction could be one of the issues. If you don't do your own oil changes that's that's fine. You can have whoever does your oil changes add this to the uh, mix so you know it's in there. Hopefully they you, they put it in there because you know that's why I do my own work because mechanics are are is a, can be a shady bunch. So when you find a good one, you keep them. There's another product that I use for if the fuel wherever I'm getting it from I feel is not up to par or possibly could have large water issues. It's called LX4 uh, Lubrosity Extreme. It's a one-shot bottle that you will put in the tank for anywhere you feel the diesel isn't um, as potent <laughs> as fresh diesel. Uh, and it can basically change that diesel to a more potent variety so you don't have any issues with your fuel at particular spots if you feel the, the fuel there. It's like a one type, one shot type deal. It's not something you put in your fuel every time like the uh, everyday treatment. The everyday treatment I put in pretty much every fill up. But uh, this, the uh, Lubrosity Extreme is something that you would use if you feel the diesel is not up to par or you're way out in the sticks and you don't know the condition of that diesel. Look who just got home. The guy's afraid of every bug on planet Earth. Butt likes to roll in the grass. So what I do is I just keep at least one of these additives sitting in the front of the truck at all times. And I usually have a bottle of the Lubrosity Extreme just in case. That's like an emergency bottle and I usually keep that in the front of the truck. Um, I don't have one right now, but uh, I'm gonna run by the store and go get another one. Uh, and then while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and get all my oil and the additives and the fuel filter, I mean the oil filter and all that stuff too. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and wash my truck. Why not? It's a good day today. One of the best car washing uh, concentrates you can get on the market. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. When I had my detail shop uh, a couple years back, uh, that was one of my main uh, concentrates that I use. Absolutely one of the best. Get you a, uh, a foam cannon. One of the best concentrates you can get. It takes off grease like you wouldn't believe. And then it leaves the gloss, you'll see. So that's pretty much for my day today. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning when I go on this Charlottesville run.
As you see, the load is not much. Uh, a bunch of HVAC and plum plumbing equipment here from Ferguson. So I'm about to take off from the Richmond area and head out to Charlottesville. And then after that, the second stop is in Lynchburg. Uh, this gives me an idea. One of the places that I used to go get some of my HVAC equipment and when I, where I have my lunch trailer, they actually do the same thing. So I'm gonna call my contact there and see if I can actually get my own contract taking some of their stuff. Uh, maybe to Charlottesville or something like that. So I'm gonna I'm a email him today and see if I can get my own contract doing this exact same thing because the truck is rarely like completely full. But uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So here I am at the Ferguson in Charlottesville and I took off what they needed at Charlottesville and Charlottesville puts on with this going to the next stop, which is uh, Lynchburg from here. So. Let me get the address real quick. This reminds me a little bit of Amazon that I do have to get out and help them a little bit. So from what he said, I got to go to Lynchburg, which is an hour away from here, then drive an hour back to here, then drive an hour back home. After doing this run, I'll see if it's worth it for the money that I'm being paid to do it how many hours exactly it's gonna take. All right, I just made it to the Ferguson in Lynchburg. Uh, so it's about an hour to Charlottesville and then an hour to Lynchburg. And from what they told me, I gotta go back to Charlottesville because they're gonna have some stuff here to take back to Charlottesville and then I'll be done. So time-wise, it's not horrible for the time. Um, I don't know if this is 100% worth it. Um, it's not a bad deal, but I don't know if it's as, as much as it could be or should be. Uh, if I got this deal on my own, definitely not not if I got it on my own. So I actually called my contact and found out that one of the guys that I used to work with when I did HVAC, he is now the main manager at one of the facilities that does, that is like Ferguson. Uh, Ferguson is a HVAC distributor. Uh, so Johnstone, the place where I used to sit my lunch trailer, um, is one of the HVAC distributors in Richmond, one of the bigger ones. And uh, they got a lot of stores in uh, North Carolina, I believe. And they always have box trucks going back. So I called my contact this morning. He said that uh, they usually don't, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to have somebody on standby that can do uh, maybe emergency loads if need be. But uh, so the guy that I used to work with, he is now the manager there. So I'm gonna contact him to see what kind of deal I can make to do um, their box truck runs from Richmond to North Carolina. There's a UPS truck that I'm waiting on right now. Hopefully, they hurry up and get unloaded. They have two bays, but only one is active with a, with a plate. So I guess it's my turn. Cool. Okay, I just finished. I forgot to pull out my camera and uh, shoot while I was doing that because it was a little bit confusing on where um, I'm, I was supposed to go for the receiving of the parts that I had to bring back to this uh, Ferguson and Richmond. Um, so I don't know if this is 100% worth it as far as the way it sits right now. It's, it's a good gig, but to me, it's just not paying enough for the amount of hours that I just worked. I had to work a full eight hour day and mostly driving. The work itself isn't that hard, but um, not something I would do on a regular basis. So I'm gonna have to tell this gentleman that I'm doing this for that I probably won't be able to do this on a full-time basis only because it just doesn't pay enough for the day and I can make more C.H. Robinson wise uh, doing my own loads. Speaking of C.H. Robinson, I just called the one of the brokers because I've seen a load here in Richmond uh, going to Sanson, which is roughly 20 miles, uh, $350. So I picked up two of them. So $350 for about 20 miles worth of driving. Uh, called and confirmed, make sure they can take a box truck and all of that. He confirmed it for me. so. He gave me the loads, like I said, $350 a piece. Uh, the only thing is I gotta hold them overnight because it uh, picks up one day uh, on the 18th, Monday, and delivers on the 19th, and then the second one picks up on the 19th and delivers on the 20th. And then I seen a load going to Pennsylvania that I'm currently trying to inquire about. Uh, that's about 1100 bucks, but I'm gonna make them come up on that because uh, I think that, that price can be better. So it is, 227 miles going to Pennsylvania for 1100 bucks. And see, those types of prices, Amazon and local people, they just can't compete with them. So I'm not even gonna make them try 
honestly, uh, especially this gentleman that I'm working for, he's, he, got, he, can, he can pay what he can pay. Uh, but if I can't accept it or, you know, it's not worth my time because I'm a business too, then, you know, that's just gonna have to be what it is. He has another load that I'm thinking about getting though because it's a much shorter run from uh, Richmond, Virginia to Williamsburg. And I can take that load uh, because that doesn't take up my entire day. Uh, if, when I went out to Lynchburg, if I didn't have to come all the way back to each location that I already went, I, I would have been done around 1230 and headed back home. And that would have been worth what he's paying. But what he's paying right now, I just can't make that make sense right now. So I'll probably do this one more time and then uh, try and stack my week with C.H. Robinson loads. Like I said, I already got two of them. So I just got to get some more for another one for next week. And then my next week will be good. And then I'll just start looking for the C.H. Robinson load. The uh, representative that I call for that particular load, he's actually Richmond, Virginia's, he works in Richmond, Virginia's office. So I can call him directly and say, hey, you know, uh, you got anything for me? You got anything around here? Uh, going between North Carolina, Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania, Baltimore, or Maryland, all parts of Maryland, um, South Carolina and Georgia. Uh, that's where I'm looking to go right now. So whatever's whatever right now, uh, as far as, so as far as right now, uh, yeah, it's time to hit the road, man. It's time to start making some serious money. I've held off long enough. I haven't been hurting, I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, you know, I, I had money saved and everything, so I'm not hurting. I was just seeing if I could make Amazon make sense to make it easy. Not to say that it's not easy going over the road, but you know, over the road, here I come. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Any questions or concerns, put it down in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.